Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I have a really fun video. It's a little different and I thought we'd switch things up and talk about cream eyeshadows. So I am actively on the hunt to try every cream eyeshadow I can get my hands on. If you are new to my channel or you just don't know this, I love cream eyeshadows. I prefer to work with and play with a cream eyeshadow over a powder eyeshadow. I just, I love the kind of malleability and just the versatility that you have with a cream shadow. I also think it just gives a totally different effect on the eyes. So I'm a huge cream eyeshadow fan. So I am actively buying and trying a bunch of different cream eyeshadows, but I wanted to dedicate a video to one of my favorite, if not my favorite cream eyeshadow formula, at least just as of right now. I think this is my favorite cream eyeshadow formula. It's my favorite one to work with. It's super easy. Um, I love the colors and this is just like the one that I reach for. If I'm gonna reach for a cream eyeshadow, like a traditional cream eyeshadow, these are what I reach for. So today we're going to be swatching, I'm gonna be applying, showing you all the shades that I own. I think I own every single shade. So if you've been curious about these, but you just don't know what shade you want to try, um, this is a great video because I'll show you exactly what every color looks like. And we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. I don't know if I mentioned this, but we're talking about the RMS eye polishes. I'm absolutely obsessed with these and they're just so beautiful. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Grab a drink, grab a snack. I'm just sipping on some coffee, and let's go ahead and get into it. I just wanna mention a few things about the formula so you kinda of know what, what kind of formula this is, and you can kind of see if this is a good fit for you. Um, these are a very traditional cream eyeshadow. They're very creamy. They're very emollient when you push down like these are not a stiff putty formula. They're not a jelly formula. These are a very traditional thick cream. Um, they also crease. So if you don't like creasing on the eyes, these are not for you or you can just use them as an eyeshadow base underneath your powder eyeshadows. I also love wearing them on their own. I think if you are gonna wear them on, on their own, um, less is more with these products when you start really layering and building. It just kind of bunches up and clumps up as it starts to crease and you just kind of are doing a lot of work that doesn't really, it's not really going to last. So I actually have on my eyes two of the eye polishes. I have the shade Seduce all over my lid and then I have the shade Solar just right on the center of the lid. And you can kind of see it's already creasing. I mean, these are very creamy emollient products. So I think if you want minimal creasing, I would just apply a very light wash of these on the eyes or pair them with a powder eyeshadow so that they don't budge. I love the kind of creasy, glossy, shiny look on the eyes. I think it's very grungy and just very high fashion and it just looks kind of cool. It's just got that really cool vibe to it. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, so I just wanted to throw that out there. But um, now we're gonna go ahead and get into the actual shades and swatches and applications. You can see what every shade looks like. So we are gonna start with the eye polish in the shade Lunar. This is the lightest of the range. And this is a really pretty, more white champagne shade. If you like those kind of icy colors on the eyes, um, definitely has a very strong white base to it, then I think you'll really enjoy this. I am not a huge fan of having really icy shades on the eyes, so I love using this just very, very sheer all over the eyes. It gives a really pretty glossy effect, and yeah, that's how I like to wear it. It's definitely not my favorite shade in the range just because the shade is very, very light, but if you like a nice icy, kind of more white toned shadow on the lid. Uh, this is beautiful. You could also use this in the inner corner, on your brow bone, on your face as a highlight. So just kind of a, a really versatile color and you can use it multiple different ways. So the next shade we're gonna be talking about is the shade Embrace. And this is definitely one of the more colorful shades in the range. It's this really pretty cool toned pink. 
And with this shade, you can really build it up and get that true rich pink color on the lids. Or you can just take a tiny bit and just do a nice light wash of pink. Um, and really that is true for all of these shades. They are extremely pigmented. You can get that high intensity, intense color minus one of the shades, which I'll tell you all about in a little bit. Um, but for the most part with all of these, you can get a really rich, intense color on the lids. Or if you just apply them very sheer, just uh, very minimal product and just kind of apply that all over the lid, you get this really nice just wash of color. And um, yeah, this color is gorgeous. I am not a huge pink wearer, so I don't wear this one too often. And yeah, this is just a gorgeous, beautiful pink shade. It's not too bright. It's definitely more on the kind of muted side, but it's still a true cool pink. And yeah, this is a beautiful shade. So the next shade we're talking about is my, it's hard to say this, but I think this is my favorite shade out of the entire range. And that's very difficult to say because I love a lot of these shades. But I think when I'm just reaching for one on a daily basis just to apply all over my eyelids, this is the one that I reach for. And this is the shade Solar. It's this gorgeous champagne -y bronze. It's not too, too bronze where it pulls really brown. It definitely has more of a champagne warm gold shift to it. It is absolutely stunning all over the eyes and I love this just as a one and done wash of color on the eyes. It's so beautiful. You can wear it underneath eyeshadows of course. You can wear it on top of eyeshadows but yeah this is definitely I think if I were to recommend one if you have never tried this formula before but you want to try one I would recommend Solar. I think it's would be very flattering on a lot of different skin tones and I think it I think a lot of people would just like this shade and get a lot of use out of this shade. So yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. It's just that perfect like creamy champagne -y bronze and that's again what I have on the center of my eyelids today and I love this shade. So yeah, Solar is definitely my favorite. A very close second would have to be the shade Lucky. This is a true penny shade. So when you think of a copper penny, like this is that shade. It's got a little bit of rosiness. It's got a little bit of coppery orange. It's so beautiful. If you have blue eyes or green eyes, this will make your eyes look absolutely insane. This is a great one and done color as well. And actually I should do a fall look with this color because it's just, it's so autumnal. It just looks like fall leaves. And yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous, but this is a true penny color. So if you like that kind of rosy coppery shade, you will absolutely love this. So this next shade is actually very different from the rest. Um, this is the most sheer out of the whole range. Um, and this is the shade Myth. It's gorgeous. It's a, I wanna say like a silvery taupe. That's how I would describe it. But this is definitely the most sheer and it really pulls a lot of silver. So it's gonna look kind of icy on the eyes, but it does have that taupey purple base to it to where it's not too, too icy. But this is definitely the most sheer. It's not gonna give you a ton of color on the eyes. So if you're someone who wants to incorporate maybe some cool tones into your look or you wanna incorporate a little bit of like purple or taupe, but you don't wanna like make the full dive. This would be a great kind of intro shade. And my favorite way to wear this is just as a wash all over the eyes because it just gives the eyes a little bit of glossiness. If you find that a shade like Lunar would be too icy for you, I would say go for Myth because it's not gonna pull too, too cool or taupey on the eyes. It's really just gonna make your eyes look really shiny and glossy. So this is a very interesting one. Again, it's very different from the rest, but still very beautiful. All right, so the next shade is for those of you who love purple, just like me. And this is the shade Magnetic. This is a beautiful, rich, deep, uh, like lavender. I would definitely say it pulls more of a lavender. It's not like a royal purple or a true, true purple. This is definitely more of a silvery purple. Almost has like a little bit of pinkiness to it, but it's so gorgeous. It's the perfect color for a one and done smoky eye. It looks so gorgeous on the eyes. And when I want to do 
just a super simple smoky eye. I love reaching for this one. Again, it does crease, but this truly gives you that really grungy, lived in, like rocker chic, slightly like model look. And I love this shade. It's not too, too intense. So again, if you're just wanting to incorporate a little bit of purple into your look, but you don't wanna apply purple all over the eyes, this is such a great color to try. And it's just, it's so pretty. It's that perfect like muted lavender shade. And I absolutely love this one. All right, last but certainly, certainly not least, this is definitely the richest, deepest color out of the bunch. And honestly, the shade range as a whole is not too dark or too intense. Um, so it's great for just like every day. And I think the average kind of everyday person who just wants to throw a color on the eyes, I think all of these shades are gorgeous. But this shade that I'm gonna talk about is definitely the most intense and this is what I have all over my lid as my base and this is the shade seduce and I would describe this as a rich neutral brown with gold with a gold shift to it gold shimmer and it's absolutely gorgeous great for one and done great for like a one and done smoky eye it's very very flattering you can sheer this out and just make it like a very light tan brown on the eyes or you can really build it up and get that nice rich intense chocolatey pigment and i love i love this shade because the brown is not overly warm it's actually more of a neutral to cool brown but i love that it has that gold shimmer to it and gold sheen to it so it kind of brings a little bit of warmth to the brown it's just a really great contrast and again I think I think everyone will enjoy this color between this one and solar I think those are the two most just like everyday throw on your eyes and go colors they're two of my favorites and that's why I'm wearing them today um, but yeah such a great color it makes for an amazing eye base so if you're going to be doing a rich smoky eye um, this makes for a great just kind of wash of color all over the lids kind of create a little bit of that tackiness on the lids and then you can go in with your rich browns and whatever blacks whatever you're using on the eyes uh, powder eyeshadows and this will make them pop this will make them so much more intense it'll grab onto those powders and it'll make your smoky eye last a lot longer so yeah this is a really great versatile product you could even use this as a bronzer or a contour if you're about my skin tone obviously not everyone can use this all right guys so that was it Super quick, super easy, but I hope this was helpful if you've been curious about these cream eyeshadows or just cream eyeshadows in general. Again, I am actively trying a ton of cream eyeshadow formulas and I will do a roundup of like all my favorite cream eyeshadow formulas in a video eventually. I don't know when that will be, um, but I just want to get a real sense for just what's on the market. If you love cream eyeshadows as much as I do, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know. Let me know what your favorite cream eyeshadow formula is and if you have any recommendations for me to try, I'm, I'm, ears, open ears, like I need to know what is good, what are the cream eyeshadows out there that I need to try because I am so excited to just play and try a bunch of different formulas. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are worth